I think over the last, you know, couple of years, we've had a lot of, a lot of times where, where we've had to hit some big shots. And I think because there's been so much balance in that Liz Scott, Maddie Williams, Taylor Robertson, you know, you talk about Skylar. Um, and when you, when you look at that and you have multiple options, um, it gives you a little bit more confidence. And so I love the simplicity that Skylar plays with. I think Skylar, you know, Skylar was, was very similar this season, I think, in terms of our team, um, in terms of, okay, there's all this expectation now. You know, she had such a great season a year ago. She steps in this year and she just is feeling it. You know, she feels it for her state. She's from here. She wants to be so good. She wants the team to be so good. And so you kind of see that. What I'm amazed with, and I know that she's going to continue to get better because in the biggest moments of the game, she can really simplify it and she can overcome it. So, you know, the play before she just turned it over. Yeah. So to be able to do that and then be able to come back, you know, that's a testament of a player that can just separate one play from the next, but also just has it. She just has it. You know, when, when you realize, you know, and, and I was an Iowa kid that got to play for Iowa. You know, she's an Oklahoma kid that gets to play for Oklahoma. So it already means something. And then when your dad played as well, it's got to be incredibly special. And so I think you just see a lot of pride in the jersey. You you, you do have to bring your game and you've got to, um, but, you, you know, but you got that something special that you realize you're representing more than just yourself or your family. Uh, you're representing so much, something so much bigger. So I think that's such a unique bond. I mean, you see a lot of players that maybe their parent played, but when it's at the same place for the state that you live in, I think it even gives you a little extra. If you look at the history of even in, from in my own personal coaching philosophy, we put a lot on that sixth player and it's a part of it is um, when you come in, like you got to bring something and you got to change the game, whatever it is, right? So sometimes it's scoring, sometimes it's going to be rebounding. Sometimes it's just the all out effort. And Skylar has all of those things. She's able to put the ball in the hole. She's able to rebound the basketball. She's able to just, you know, Skylar can make a really big mistake and be okay and come back. She can come in and do something really great and then stay in it. And so she's not a, an emotional you know, where it's like, if she's not good, then she's going to stay not good. Or if she's, you know, she can really steady her ship. And I think we can see that, you know, and again, that goes back to our last game at the end of the game. It wasn't her best game, wasn't her best performance, but when it was, when we needed two baskets, she got them, you know, and I think that that's something, and you've seen it a year ago, you need a game winning stop. She gets a block shot. I'm one of the best players in the country. You know, she just has that. And so from that standpoint, you really want, again, in our philosophy, especially the way that we want to play, we need that second wave to really go and change the game and shift the game and keep the momentum or something, do something really different. And Sky brings that. That's a really good question. I don't, I don't know if there was like one aha moment. Um, but I, this season for sure, I mean, it was definitely a year ago that you could really start to feel that, that shift and that change. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think, you know, Skylar's a gamer that has really learned how to practice better. And, you know, I think when we first started, it was like, okay, we kind of go through practice and I think now she's really matured to understand the level that you have to bring every day. And so um, I, de I definitely, it was definitely a year ago because at the very beginning of the year, having her and Nevea both were the ones that kind of came off and shifted everything for us and really sped it up at the beginning of the year. So um, I knew then that it was the two of them that, that could really shift it. And then obviously Nevea moved into a starting role and then it was kind of Skylar who just would come in and change it. It also helps when you're versatile and you can sub in for multiple people. So if somebody has a you know foul trouble or something like that, you can you can kind of shift your rotation too. It's not just you know 
So, you know, she doesn't always sub in for Liz. Sometimes she'll sub in for a Maddie or she'll sub in. I mean, she could sub in for Anna or Taylor and we could shift the rotation a little bit. She's probably similar to where, to where she was. And I, I agree with you. I think there was such a significant difference between the first day and the second, which is kind of interesting. However, there were some things that you got to play with and you got to try to understand. I think her answering that question to paraphrase her, um, her answer at the, at the tournament is, She's like, I don't care. I'm going to give everything I have for my team and I just want to play. And so that's what she's going to do. So it does, it's, it's nice for us um, in terms of for her, for Anna um, to be able to have another day, you know, one day is kind of a big deal. And so I'm glad we're playing on Saturday. And so um, I, you know, she's going to give it whatever she has. Is she a hundred percent? I don't know if she actually could be, but her mind is so maybe. I mean, she's incredible. She just is such a, she's such a positive person. She is, she's a team oriented person. She is, um, she's, she thinks for herself, you know, she's very creative. Um, but she, she just believes in people, you know, and she believes in a bigger purpose. Um, she is one of the coolest people that you'll ever meet. And, you know, she's, she's, she's somebody that will always have this huge smile on her face. So the, the Maddie that you see playing with the big smile on her face is the Maddie that, that we see every day. And, you know, she never, you know, some people, you never know which version you're going to get, right. Cause they might be moody one day or they might, you know, she's somebody that's dependable on her attitude. And there's not many people that you can say that about. And so she is always somebody that people want to be around. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough really good things, which is why I always get really <laughs> frustrated that there's not more talk about her because she's an incredible person who happens to be an incredible basketball player. And I think that's, I think that is definitely um, a possibility for her to be doing anything, to be honest. Um, I would love to see her do something with basketball, um, not after she's done playing, I'm talking, whether it's in coaching, whether it's mentoring young kids, whether it's because, I mean, kids just gravitate to her. I don't care where you come from. I don't care how old you are. Everybody loves her. Um, you know, she's even talked about officiating. I think she'd have a great personality for that because she just kind of doesn't, she just stays, she just stays really steady. Um, so I'd love to see that. I think we need, I think we need women, um, especially African-American women. We need people like a Maddie to step up and be leaders, whether in our sport, some way, somehow, I just hope she does have that opportunity. I know she'll have the opportunity, but I think she has that passion um, because she will impact so many people um, in that kind of a role or responsibility. Trainer is getting in a lot of extra work, so that's good. Um, this is why you get paid the big bucks, I guess, as an athletic trainer in college. Um, and I'm definitely being sarcastic. Um, but no, I think, you know, again, she's, you know, she's trying to rest. She's trying to keep it active. She's doing everything that she's supposed to do. She was, I saw her earlier today. She's getting in extra work because you have to be able to do that too and then be able to still come to practice. So um, I thought she did a great job at practice today in terms of leading. She did not practice, um, but her voice was there and um, she does a really good job of, of doing whatever she needs to do. So she will be, she'll be okay. Will she be a hundred percent? I don't know, but again, it's the same as Maddie. She's mentally going to be there. And that's what we need. Big for us, you know, I mean, she adds such a nice element to, to our team. She's, she's steady. She's, um, she is a great defender. I think, I think her, her ankle definitely hindered her in that second game. Um, especially looking at it the next day and understanding just how tough she actually is. And I feel the same way about Maddie. When you have players that um, go through some of that kind of stuff and you, you underestimate it as a coach because you just want them to go and you're in it and you have this adrenaline and you want to play. Um, and not that we're pushing it. Obviously they're making those decisions with our medical staff and our medical team. However, it's their responses and their answers to those questions are always amazing to me where it's, I just want to play with my team. 
And a lot of times what you answer is it's March. I just want to play. I just want to play in the NCAA tournament. I just want to do this. But when your answer is, I just want to be there with my team, then you know, you have something, you have a little bit more motivation and you're going to be a little bit better than maybe you should be. And they both answer it that way. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.